After a number of Egyptian military crackdowns on the underground smuggling operations between the Gaza Strip and Egypt, the Palestinian enclave is once again suffering from a grave fuel crisis that is severely impacting health services. This week's emergency warning from the Gaza Ministry of Health is not the first in recent years. Gaza knows all too well such situation. Before the crackdown on the smuggling tunnels, Gaza used to receive thousands of liters of fuel every day. That supply line has now been almost entirely cut off, with only a small trickle of supply coming into Gaza from Israel. Gaza's doctors reported that the fuel shortage is seriously affecting service provision as hours of electricity supply have plummeted. The lives of kidney patients needing dialysis, those in the intensive care units and premature babies are at risk. We got excited last week when we heard that the electricity in Gaza would get better. However, nothing has changed. We are still suffering and the patients' lives are in danger. Our storage fuel is quickly running out. If we want to talk about solutions, ending the Palestinian division will be the first, because it is the key to solving all of our problems. At the meantime, the Rafah border crossing is closed to medical supplies and to delegations wishing to offer their medical support to the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, where medicines are also in short supply. It is estimated that Gaza's hospitals are suffering from at least a 70% shortfall in medicines and other medical supplies. Nurharuzin, Telesu TV, Gaza.